the um you're talking about what's the young buck's name? I just I've literally forgot his name now. Daniel Dubois. Daniel okay. Dubois. So I've sparred Dubois before. Wow. Mm. You're joking. <laughs> I've, I've sparred Dubois before. It was a while ago. But one thing I said, and it's weird, when he fought Anthony Joshua, I was talking to, no, sorry, when he fought um, Joe Joyce, I was talking to a friend of mine, he's very into boxing, and he was like, no, nah, man, trust me, the bar, man, da, 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 da. And I said, he's a quitter. And he's like, no, nah, what makes you say that? I was like, because I've made him quit before. Mm. And I don't mean it in like a, he just got frustrated. And I just said, that that's a very telling sign of your mind. He's very powerful. And it's not just him. There's a lot of guys that depend on power. If it doesn't go well or they get hit too hard back, they struggle with it. It's almost like a bully tactic to it. Like I'm so used to bu bullying. When I get bullied, I don't know how to come out of it. Um, I think Dubois, you know, he's super powerful and can. And to be fair, his last fight, he showed me otherwise. Yeah. So I think something is changing, which is good. And Anthony Joshua's last couple of fights, his attitude seems to be coming back, which is good. So weirdly enough, this is the perfect collision, perfect mm -hmm. time for both of them. Because um, all the flaws that I was, was seeing in both of them seem to be uh, kind of coming too. But when Anthony Joshua is on and he has the right attitude, I, I, I'd I say Anthony Joshua. Yeah. Uh, Dubois, I'd say probably the more skillful of the two. Um, but I think Anthony Joshua is the smarter of the two. Mm -hmm. We had Johnny Fisher here three weeks ago. Um, he's top 10 in the UK boxer. Mm. Um, and he knocked his last opponent at 36 seconds. He said he sparred with um, Daniel mm. uh, Dubois, and he said that's the hardest punch I ever hundred percent. He's, 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 which is why I was had to, had to be on my A game because if that guy touches me, it's a problem. Mm. Obviously, there's a, the weight disparity anyway, big time. But if that guy touches me, it's a problem. Yes. Like. But which is why, again, he got frustrated because he wasn't able to land anything clean, mm -hmm. uh, which he's just used to just, like I said, just having his way. Yeah. And then again, when he got with Joe Joyce from the, everything that you're landing is not working and then he's still coming forward, that I think, I'm sorry, I don't believe there was anything wrong with his eye. I think he was just like um, defeated. Like, uh, and then obviously with um, uh, Usyk, um, there's argument about where it's low blow, it blah, 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 blah. Didn't look like a low blow to didn't me. It wasn't. I don't think it was a low blow. Um, but at the same time, Usyk is a very smart person, a mm -hmm. uh, smart fighter. And even still, regardless of whether it was or wasn't, he was still winning that fight and is going to uh, and, and beat you anyway. Uh, pretty much on the same kind of thing. I kind of think sometimes he gets overwhelmed. If... Anthony plays a very slow paced fight. He likes to be a bit more slow paced. If he plays a slow paced fight, it might maybe work against him. If he if he has that like the aggressive attitude and starts keeping keeps the pressure on him, I think it will work. Uh, it will work against um uh, Dubois because like, like I said, I've just seen him get frustrated too often and 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 lose his head. But like I said, over the last couple of fights, he seems to have changed. Um, mm -hmm. so. It's a good fight. It's a good timer for it. Yes. You got um Tyson Fury versus um Yusei times two. You know, the the second fight's coming. Um I was a little bit shocked by that one. Uh, purely because I love Tyson Fury, big low, long tall, born natural fighter. Mm. And um it felt like that Fury didn't use his size advantage to, to me as a non-fighter. Like, he should have bullied him more and built all over him. How do you see the next fight playing out? Or do you know anything inside? Yeah, it was, it was, it was a weird one to watch. I'm a fan of both of them. Um, big fan of both of them. I think Usyk, again, just a talented boxer. But so is, so is Fury in his very awkward style, especially with his awkward size and length and so on and so forth. And it was, a, it was a weird one because I, I literally felt the first, Usyk was right to push the pace, but the first two rounds, he, he felt like he was kind of just figuring things out. And then he just started to kind of like slowly just like come back and then he dropped him. And I'm like, 
oh, this is game over. And then randomly, Usa, it's like he just took his foot off the pedal. And I didn't, I up till now, I don't get what happened because he didn't look that and that tired. He just like, he just was like, I don't know, maybe playing with his food for a bit too long. And then Usyk started to come back. Usyk got caught him with a couple of shots, then dropped him, and then he just uh, it just swayed again. Mm. Uh, and rightfully, rightfully so, Usyk won that fight. But I was just confused because if Fury had just continued what he was doing, yeah. I a hundred percent. I think it was by round four. I was like, Fury's got this. Yeah, hundred percent. Fury's got. It. Then he dropped. Uh, dropped him. It was around three or whatever. He dropped him. I was like, yeah, Fury's got this. And it just it just looked like he was going to get worse and worse. But yeah, it just I, I just, again, I've watched a couple of times, and I just don't get why he just mm-hmm. randomly took his foot off the gas. If he decides to do the same thing and then continue pressing forward, then hundred percent, like uh, he should win that. Usyk is very good. Beautiful, right? it's a southpaw as well. Like, I know what you are now, and then he just yeah, goes yeah, for yeah. the full he, on he, he knows and, how to. And, and he, he, he figures you out. But any anybody that kind of moves like that, uh, you look at the other Ukrainian. Um, uh, one of my favorite boxers to watch right now is uh, 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 Vasil Lemachenko. Yeah, same kind of thing. Sometimes he absorbs pressure and he's just moving around. He's in his head movement and stuff, and he's figuring you out. He's just everything, just analyzing, analyzing, analyzing. Mm-hmm. And when he figures you out, mm-hmm. those the, those last like rounds, like you know, six to twelve, is a problem because he's just like bah, 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 bah. everything you throw is like he's parrying, hitting you straight back with twos, and then slipping, and then he's it, it's like trying to fight these flies. No <laughs> 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 <Love> fucking. <laughs> Um, but it's yeah, it's it's Usyk has that ability. So again, if you don't try to kill him early and and just or just keep that pressure on, um, so he doesn't have a chance to think. If you look at it, one of my one of my teammates and my brother, um, Derek Chizora fought him. Mm-hmm. That was a close fight, mm-hmm. and we said, Derek, don't try to outbox this guy. Yeah, You're, he's too good. Mm-hmm. You cannot outbox somebody that has this amount of rounds and has just been in it for just on his amateur career alone then his professional career you can't outbox somebody like that so don't try to mm-hmm. oh you can bully the hell out of somebody like that just you have to it was all fitness and all power shots it's all fitness and if you looked at his last fight it's pretty much the same thing yeah it was fitness and power shots. There was yeah. times even I was, I was biting my nails going like I feel like he's powering down and then he just ah, gah, 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 yeah. came back again um, and arguably that was a very close decision mm-hmm. and um, and even they said they were like man we was unsure like, that was his team saying that yeah. after the fight so yeah if Fury's going to do that he can uh, obviously he's more talented by way of his boxing skill mm-hmm. and he could probably outbox him but why 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 if you're the bigger guy like you said you're the bigger guy you've got the skill but just put pressure put, keep that pressure on him work your fitness work your gas tank keep that pressure on him or if it needs to go 12 rounds, 12 rounds, but I don't allow him the space to be able mm. to to figure things out. Yeah. And again, yeah, you should win that one. What's, okay, so you got Fury to do it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's different. It just depends on what you what, what Fury turns out. Sometimes yeah. it's just a... Uh, it, yeah. it's, it's always hard to tell, man. Well, he's just come off a loss now and mm. that loss must have really affected him. And I, he looks bitter about it. He's like, yeah, he's good. I'm going to so come we, we, back. We've never seen anybody... We've never seen him have to come back from something so we don't know what fury is going to turn up but this is my point you have to if i'm tossing a coin it's hard to put my money on fury yeah because i don't know what's going to happen whereas Usyk's consistent yeah and he's been consistent his whole career yeah. so if i had to i'd probably put on Usyk. like if i'm being safe i'd say Usyk. but it's again it depends on what Usyk, uh what fury turns up because mm-hmm. it, it could be yeah mm-hmm. Complete opposite, but I, I, if I had to be, if I'm forcing to put my money down, yeah. I'm saying AJ for the first one and Usyk for the second one. And finally, what's your prediction? Mike Tyson against Jake Paul? Is that even happening anymore? I think I it's happening in November. I believe it's so. come back. Yeah, yeah. I, I Mike Tyson got some bloody blood pressure coming off. That's what I'm gonna bro. say. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's a waste of. Uh, it's, I, I love Mike Tyson. Yeah. I think any 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 true combat fan, not even boxing fan, combat fan, loves Mike Tyson. Ever met him? No, I actually haven't. I, 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 I had the privilege of meeting him yet. I actually want to go and do his uh, podcast as well at some point. Hotbox. Oh, come on. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just I don't even care to comment on it. It's just a stupid fight. I don't. 
wanna I, I the idea of potentially of having this visual in my head of Mike Tyson lying on the floor with Jake Paul standing over him, I hate every second of that. 